Now, the first thing is adding a clipping boundary or image clip will allow you to clip out or reduce what's visible from your image. Now, this can be super useful if say your uh, image is a detail or another drawing sheet and you only want to show a piece of it or maybe it's aerial imagery like this one and you're merging multiple pieces together and you just want to trim out which one is showing where. Selecting an image, click create clipping boundary and then you can choose to start a polyline, choose a polygonal one or rectangle or invert. So we're going to choose a polygon and we're going to simply start drawing. Now you can see here that it's showing me the clipping boundary I'm creating. In some cases, you may want to clip this to like a property boundary or a city boundary. Or like I said, if you're merging multiple pieces of imagery together, you might want to just have it uh, clip on a specific line. But in our case, I've just drawn an irregular shape here. And you can always move these at any point to adjust what's being shown on the image. You can also, moving on here, select an image and adjust how that image is displayed. So if you want your image to be in the background or as kind of a reference, so you might want it like faded or dimmed down, you can use these settings in the top left here instead of messing around with transparencies in the properties or layers. You can simply pull the fader bar here to the right and fade out the image so that any line work and objects above it are going to be much more visible when printed. This is going to print as like a faded out gray kind of old photograph, but it's going to be great to be able to place the objects in a real space, but not overwhelm or take over from the line work. Similarly, you can adjust the contrast here and brightness to your liking. It gives you some of those kind of really basic Photoshop options within AutoCAD.